Hey, it's Illuminostic. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I became a father in the interim and it was a very difficult birth. Uh, Nagual was purple and not really breathing and uh, my partner had a really rough time too. And so they were in the hospital for a while and <clears throat> I've just been kind of immobilized. Today we're going to talk a little bit about personal freedom and why it's so important and talk a little bit about how you can establish that for yourself. People had commented that they uh, felt like they couldn't travel, they couldn't just pick up and leave or redefine themselves because they weren't born to a wealthy family or they didn't have any talents or skills. And I think that that is a really tragic state of mind to be in. I've left a lot of places with absolutely nothing. I left Virginia at 21 and went out to Colorado and that was the closest I ever came to living a normal life, you know, but I got tired of it. I'm, I'm definitely not a day job kind of guy. So I picked up and went out to California with nothing and eventually had my own grow and I became a very good uh, out, out, outdoor organic cannabis farmer. And I uh, I just ran away to South America and I, I'm abbreviating this stuff quite a bit. But during that, that period, I've started to write a little bit of blogs and I've made some videos and we've actually had some support, you know, people have come out of the woodworks to uh, help us out and you know I play gigs sometimes and every now and then I make good money doing that by South American standards. I really do believe that not only does consciousness have a role to play in creating our reality which you know I'm increasingly convinced that fear is the number one enemy there and not just in terms of like stopping you from doing the things that you need to do in order to progress it's also sort of like in a more mystical sense, it's like an interference pattern. You want to become like a hollow tube to bring down fire from heaven. And if you're full of this dissonance, then it's, it's very difficult for consciousness and energy to create order, which is how we manifest the experiences in the life that we want. So you have to start small. You have to think about what you're good at. You have to, you know, Alistair Crowley used to say that everyone has a true will, that the universe weighs nothing. Everything is here for some purpose, including all of us. And so through psychedelics or meditation or whatever spiritual practice it is, getting to know yourself more, deconditioning, dehypnotizing. You know, I've been watching that uh, Osho documentary on Netflix, and I know a lot of people took issue with his like 90 Rolls Royces or whatever. But as far as that guy's message, I, I've never seen a guru that was being so honest and I mean I read that guy's stuff and I was actually kind of impressed with it and I'm never impressed with I, I don't like those guys most of the time. It was no surprise that they kicked him out of the United States basically. He was talking mostly about deconditioning and dehypnotizing and a lot of concepts that are really common today but that 1983 uh, were pretty radical you know I mean some of the free sex stuff kind of came from the 60s but the point is this guy was talking a lot about how fear was the absolute enemy. That the individual from the time of childhood must have autonomy. If you guys are parents, reading Osho's stuff about parenting, by the way, is highly advisable. We're trying to create a new consciousness. We're trying to create a new way of relating to each other and the rest of the world. And it has to begin with the way that we teach children. If you're trapped in a nine to five, if you don't like your life, if you don't like your job, you are not only miserable yourself, but that energy of negativity is emanating from you and it's infecting people around you and you need to take responsibility to do something about it. Figure out what your interests are, start writing blogs, look into and you don't need to have talent or intelligence to make money in c cyber currency. It doesn't take much money to invest a little bit in Bitcoin, you know, or, or Litecoin or whatever it is that's hip right now. It's just a matter of putting a little bit of money in there when you can afford to. You have to try to liberate yourself and you have to do this in accordance with your true nature so that you don't have to make any decisions that violate the expression of that true will and that facilitate its full blooming. But you have to be committed and you have to be dedicated and you have to take steps. What I'm seeing a lot of is people that just say, I, I can't. They really honestly believe they're trapped. And these mind-forged manacles, you know, as William Blake called them, they're the realest trap there is. If you can get out of the mental trap, then the rest of the traps just will fall away. And if you're diligent and determined and you really work towards liberating yourself from fear, liberating yourself from cognitive bias about how things work, and really cultivate a state of mindfulness in order to analyze 
your being and to determine what it is that's in your way. I'm, I'm about to make a psychedelics masterclass video. Please do check that one out. I'm going to tell people something in that video that I, I, I don't think a lot of them are going to like. It's not really what you want to hear. Everybody's looking for the magic pill. And psychedelics are definitely as close as you're going to get to that. But at the same time, you got to look at your life first. If you have no discipline and no willpower and you're full of fear and you take psychedelics, you might make some pro progress, but you're still just going to have a more expanded awareness without the ability to really do anything with it. So it's very important to start cultivating your discipline to cultivate a, reg a regimen of, of mindfulness and just to do everything you can to liberate yourself from the matrix reality and follow your true will. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it. It's not like I've had massive success, but we are living life on our own terms and we have enough money in the bank to pay the rent and get groceries. And that is a huge step. And in my worldview, it's a massive accomplishment just to have liberated ourselves to the extent that we are autonomous and independent and still have some income. So on this, this path of developing uh, autonomy and to really learn to know thyself, because if you don't know yourself, you're definitely not going to figure out your true will and live in accordance with it. It's just not going to happen. So if you have a religion, if you were born into one, if you have adopted one, if you have done this for your spouse, it's, it's, it's not right. I can tell you 100%, if you have a religion, period, it is not correct. None of them are correct. The only way to come to spiritual truths is through contemplation, gnosis, self-directed process. The universe can reveal mystical truths to you in ways that defy logic, explanation, rational belief. I talk a lot about synchronicities. I've even managed to record them in one of my last videos, the Phoenix Process. I mentioned 11-11 coincidences, and I, I, when we were done editing, I realized it was it happened right at 11-11, and I promise I didn't edit. It was uh, videoed in different places in Ecuador, and then shuffled back together. Synchronicities, coincidences that connect to each other, and they have this this meaning. But there are many other ways too. The voice of intuition oftentimes is absolutely correct. And I don't know exactly what that is or how it works, but I can tell you that there are ways to learn to recognize when it's correct and when it's not. We always know. If you are religious, you're fucking, you can fucking forget about it. You're not going to go anywhere because you have all these beliefs and in my world, we don't have beliefs. We have, instead of dogmas, we have catmas, relativistic meta-beliefs. If you guys have never checked out Robert Anton Wilson, I borrowed that from him. He was absolutely brilliant. The Illuminatus Trilogy will change your life. So you have to have the courage to totally redefine your belief system. You have to let go of society's programs. You have to let go of believing that it's important to be normal if you think like that. It's a total restructuring of your being. If you really want to liberate yourself from the influence of your past, from the negative influences of culture, from the strictures of religion on your consciousness, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And some of us are further out than others. You can check out my Mastering Fear video. I talk a lot about uh, a process that I went through that helped me to work all of the fear out of my system. And it also showed me uh, very soon afterwards and even during the process what the results were of having no fear yeah I mean basically if you are fearing something you're attracting the thing that you're afraid of to you so check out that video it could be it could be of a lot of assistance remember fuck fear maybe one of the most beautiful things about attaining this level of autonomy this, this self-knowledge and then breaking free of the matrix <clears throat> and living life on your own terms is that you'll probably discover, I'm quite sure of it, that your purpose will align itself with the collective well-being because that's just what the gestalt of life is. So you may find yourself 
currently in an existential crisis or maybe you're a nihilist, totally materialist, you know, you don't believe that there's any life after death, that consciousness is just some fluke of energy. If you embark on this journey, journey, you're very likely to have some serious adjustments in your worldview in regards to those things. And the end result of that is that you have a much more fulfilling life where you are working with the collective for the collective well good and also liberating yourself. I think that uh, the Comte de Phoenix was onto something when he said of the future governments would be totally anar anarchistic and he said the absolute rule of the state shall be a function of the absolute liberty of the individual and I do think that this is what we are working towards. I mean, I'm definitely working towards it. I've been taking step after step after step for many years. You know, for a long time, I really struggled with self-sabotage and I had my own fears and a lot of, a lot of issues, very traumatic childhood. So it's taken me a long time to really kind of like stabilize and find my wings. But what I can tell you for sure is having gone down all these rabbit holes for 20 years now, the magic does not cease to come. It's, it's not like I had some episode of unusual experiences. This is something that continues to the present day. It's never just disappeared. Once you free yourself from your fears and expand the parameters of your perception, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper, especially if you're willing to cooperate.